rental hikes, every struggling Queenslander's nightmare and every landlord's dream. As uni students, we understand the rental crisis all too well. So, we headed out to talk to some people on both sides of the issue, personally affected by the crisis, to uncover the truth behind the headlines. First up, we spoke to Emma, a fellow student doing her best in this tough situation. Hello. Hi. Welcome. So, what is your current living situation while you attend uni? So basically during uni I live like half on the Gold Coast, half in Brisbane. I live with my mum's good friend. She's been nice enough to let me stay with her during the week. Uh, so I'll usually take public transport back and forth from there. But it's a little bit of a mess because half my stuff's there, half my stuff's, you know, a little bit everywhere. Yeah. Has it been stressful trying to find a place considering you're balancing uni at the same time? Yeah, no, definitely. It's very stressful because I'm currently working a part-time job whilst trying to study full-time as well um, and like I know people who are trying to work full-time and study full-time and it's like it's not very healthy to try to do that you know. Do you ever feel anxious about having to find a place and paying more than what you originally planned? A hundred percent. Being a uni student is stressful as it is like assignments, having to study, trying to think about my future is hard enough while having to try to think about my living circumstances right now. Uh, yeah, it kind of just like adds a lot of extra pressure onto everything. Talking to Emma really opened my eyes. She's not the only one in this situation. In Australia, 331,000 people are experiencing rental stress. And in Queensland, only 0.8% of rental properties are currently vacant, resulting in loads of people fine over limited options. But why is this happening? The thing is, just as we all have to sign up for energy providers, tenants have no choice but to find shelter, which adds immense pressure to people paying rent or even trying to bid for rent outside of their budgetary limits. Our students have it extra tough with the recent decision of the Chinese government to send all online students to Australia. Student accommodation is expected to have no vacancies. Additionally, the cost for living is increasing everywhere. So interest rates for mortgage holders are also increasing, meaning rent for tenants are increasing. So that's got me thinking, well, how are the landlords doing in all of this? So we're going to head down the Gold Coast now talk to our landlord. She's on the other side of the situation. It'll be really interesting to see her side of the story. Hello, thank you for having us. Can you please just introduce yourself and what your role is within real estate? I'm Tracy. Mm -hmm. I'm Anthony. Husband Anthony. And we um, are landlords of four units that we own up in Brisbane, which are on the rental market. So what is your relationship within the housing market? Pretty much as landlords. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you have any student tenants at the moment? We do have one student tenant, mm -hmm. yes. Do you believe being a student affects the likelihood of finding a place? I think it can do. Uh, it, it, it's, it all depends, but I think it would it, um, generally, yes. I mean, for us, when we're considering who the tenants are that are applying, we want to look at their character. We want to look at that there's someone that's going to pay the rent and they're going to look after the property really well. We don't want people that are going to be having parties and, uh, and disrespecting the property, but then you can't really be uh, to me, just give a stereotype because you have to take people on an individual mm -hmm. basis. The student we have, she's just lovely and she's looking after the property really well. We value her and we don't want her to go. We have not increased her rent in this last rental increase that the agent wanted us to because we said, no, she's paying a reasonable rent, she's a great tenant and we know she has her limits as well. So, yeah, we think that we should look after everyone equally, whether a student or not. But I, I think that it could be harder for students in that way. Yeah. What do you think the future of the rental crisis looks like? I don't think it's going to get any better. At the end of the day, we only get one life and achieving basic needs isn't something we should have to fight against the system to achieve. If there's any consolation, there may be a light at the end of the tunnel. We are in a cost for living crisis, so I wouldn't expect rental prices to go down anytime soon. Interest rates have stopped increasing, so rental prices haven't gone up as much recently. Will this be a glimmer of hope, or are you just trying to find faith in a system that's already broken? Mm -hmm.